What if I told you that one of the rawest houses is just behind me? Well, then you have to watch this video to the end. It's going to be fantastic. So this hike is going to start with passing the village of Forolio and I'm already very excited because it's my fifth time and now without people because it's still early in the morning, it's only 10 a.m. So here at the entrance at the village of Forolio you can see it shows the directions where you should hike to and the topmost Galneja, that's where you have to go. So in the beginning it's going to be very steep, it's going 200 meters up to reach the top of the waterfall and then actually it's just going straight for quite a long time but the incline is much less than here. Today it's very hot, it's 30 degrees, well not yet but it's going to be and that's why I came here early, because I want to make sure I reach the top before it's going to be really hot. And then the good thing here is the ascent is all in the forest, so it's always in the shade, which is really good. Whew. But uh, it's already quite ascending, I have to say. Here we have our first settlement, and I guess we are just halfway now, so still quite of an ascent. Do you hear it? The waterfall is now very near. Here we have the waterfall, really impressive. I've actually never seen it from this angle. Except, well, maybe during flying my drone, but not with my naked eye. As you can see, it's not much further up to Pundit. I think another 20 minutes. It's quite an ascent, but it's less steep than I thought. And the view is really fantastic. So, we've already reached the top of the waterfall. I can hear that and even see because there's no longer any cliff on the side. And finally, I'm in the Val Galneja. Now the first highlight the bridge of Pontet. Wow, it really looks as beautiful or probably even better than the pictures on the internet. I don't know what this door is exactly for, but maybe it is for the goats or wildlife animal to not pass the bridge. Now you can already see there's a lot more people, but still it's far from being crowded because the majority doesn't want to hike. Well, that's good. It keeps this place lonelier. You can see there are a lot of rocks everywhere, really big rocks. And this is because a 
few centuries ago there was a mountain slide in the Val Galneja and also the Val Bavona and this actually led to some really great architectural wonders like the house that I'm going to show you. So one of the people who was just hiking in front of me told me if I stand here in between it's going to be natural air conditioning. Yeah, it's true. It's very cooling. Great feeling. So, up from Puntit, the hike is super easy and here we are the Splui Bella, a beautiful rock house. Let's go and take a look at it from close. So here we already have our first Splui. And here, this is the room for storing the cheese. It's like a hobbit house what some people say about this area. Yeah, it's super convenient because these houses, they're protected from any falling rocks should there be another mountain slide. So this here is the stable for the pigs and then the one for the goats is just on the other side. This here is a stay for the goats. Yeah, there's definitely enough place. And it's also nicely protected from the rain. So this here is the Splui Bella built beneath the rock. Wow, really impressive. Now, if you go to that door, you can take a look at the interior. There is still a bed and things for living. So if you wonder whether somebody used to live up here, the answer is yes. You can read on this board. His name was Arnoldo Dado. He used to live from 1916 until 2002 and he came up here during summer with his goats. Yeah, that must have been a very worry-free life. Easy going. And I quite envy him for that, I have to say. But now it's already more than 20 years since he passed. Now on the roof of the Splui, not too sure whether it's allowed, but there's no sign whether this is private. And the view with the mountains and the clouds looks very mystical today. Unfortunately, there's not too much sun, but then fortunately, it's not too hot. I guess it's all in all a good compromise. And now, it's time for lunch. So this here is a balcony. I really love this, especially because it's beneath the rock. When it's going to rain, I guess it must be very beautiful to sit up there and read a book. This house, it's really unbelievable. I mean, this is just fairy tale, so raw. What a day. Now, if you want to see more videos like this about Ticino, then I'm going to see you over there. Otherwise, if you're more interested in Southeast Asia, then let's meet in that video.